Hello. <laughs> Welcome to today's edition of Humor Hour, the show where you tell me jokes. Well, actually, I tell the jokes, but you send them in. And the first joke comes from Mr. Prentice Gibson of Claverton Town. Mr. Gibson says, <laughs> What do you call... <laughs> What do you call three downers at the bottom of the sea? <laughs> Not enough downers! <laughs> very good. <laughs> We're starting off very strong today, aren't we? <laughs> this one is from Bryony Ditton of Collier's Lane. <laughs> What's the difference between a downer and a trampoline? <coughs> You take off your shoes before you jump on a trampoline. <laughs> How true! How very true! I mean, you, you don't want to damage a perfectly good trampoline, do you? <laughs> very good indeed. <laughs> this is from Mrs. Jemima Hughes of Coronation Avenue. <laughs> and... A joke is, if you see, if you see a drowning downer, what do you throw him? I don't know, uh, a brick, <laughs> an anvil. Well, no, you can't very well throw an anvil, can you? What about a grenade? Well, no. Who has grenades these days? <laughs> Answer: Another downer. <laughs> I told you it was good. <laughs> that's wonderful. <laughs> it's very good. You see, that's they both drown. <laughs> That is another one. Um, how do you save a drowning downer? Answer, who cares? <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Lovely jokes. Lovely jokes today. Very funny indeed. <laughs> and here's one from, not that one, no, this one here. It's from Clive Pritchard of Slaybrook Road. <laughs> Mr. Pritchard, what do you have for us today? <laughs> Question. How is a puppy like a mortally wounded downer? Answer. If, eventually they'll both stop whining. <laughs> oh, Mr. Kitchen. You're quite a character, aren't you? <laughs> oh. You know, I, I miss my dog. <laughs> what am I saying? I don't miss anything at all. I've got it all right here. Ah. <laughs> Let's see what else we've got. Ah, yes, something. We have something from our dear friend and faithful contributor, Mr. Persky Blackyang. Um, yes, as you can tell from, um, as you can tell from his name, Mr. Blackyang isn't actually a real Englishman. He's an Afrikaner from South Africa, but he's doing his patriotic best to fit in. <laughs> so, what do you have for us today, Mr. Blackyang? Question. How is a downer like an apple? Answer. They both look good hanging from a tree. Hmm. I'm not sure I get it. Oh. <laughs> I see. That is very good. <laughs> hanging from a tree. <laughs> Here's another one. What's the difference between a downer and a black plague? Well, one is a deadly organism that can destroy an entire city, <laughs> and the other is a bacterium. <laughs> oh, very good. <laughs> well, I think it's going to be hard to top that one, but we must slog on, eh? It's one of our greatest English virtues. I have one here from uh, Mr. Thomas Henchley of Longbottom Circle. What have you got for us, Mr. Henchley? Question. Why do we bury downers 20 feet underground? Answer, because deep, because deep down, they're really nice people. <laughs> deep down, yeah. I think that's the best one of all. It really is. <laughs> Very good. Remember, no one has to be a downer. But if you feel a bit down, take your joy. And if you see someone who seems a bit down, make sure he takes his joy. It's as simple as that. <laughs> Happiness is a choice. And those who won't choose it are a threat to the rest of us. If you hear a good joke, please don't hesitate to drop a note marked Humor Hour at our studio, 2 Marlborough House 
in central Wellington Wells. Yes, I'm afraid we've got to the end of our time. Tune in again next time for the best in humour. See you soon. <laughs>